I have risen, and I am with you still, Alleluia. You have laid your hand upon me, Alleluia. Too wonderful for me is knowledge, Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And I warmly welcome you to our church here in Viva, dedicated to St. Joseph, on this Easter day of 2020. And I greet you with the age-old greeting of the Christian Church on this Easter Sunday. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. I am offering this Mass this morning for the intentions of all of the people of the parish. We begin by acknowledging our sins and seeking God's liberating and renewing grace in our lives. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us. May he forgive us our sins, and may he bring us to everlasting life. Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, O Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, and you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, Rise up in the light of life. This prayer we make through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee, after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power, and because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I, and those with me, can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself and also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people, and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. Response. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice in our heart. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. Response. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice in our heart. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. Response. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on the, are on the earth, because you have died and now the life that you have is hidden with Christ in God. But when Christ is revealed, and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We greet the gospel. I greet you on this Easter day of 2020 with a message of hope and reassurance. The message of Easter is in essence a very simple one, but it has a profound meaning and significance. Darkness, despair, 
and death are decisively vanquished by the risen Christ. And we need no longer fear. Light, hope, and life are in the ascent. I bear good news for all of you this morning watching this broadcast. The coronavirus will retreat. The lockdown will end. Our churches once again will be places of vibrant communal worship. Communities will emerge from this pandemic stronger than ever. And our stymied lives will be reborn. A blessed and joyous Easter to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now stand for the creed. And instead of the creed this morning, we actually have the renewal of our baptismal promises. And so I will ask you, my dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been united with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of our holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan and his works, and promised to serve God in his holy and Catholic Church. And so now I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and of earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, O Lord? who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and who has bestowed upon us the forgiveness of all our sins, may he keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. We now have our intercessory prayers. On this Easter day, our spirits are lifted by the joy and the hope of the resurrection, and let us now raise our hearts in confident prayer. Let us pray that through the ministry of the Christian Church, God might rekindle the flame of Easter faith in us and indeed in all people. Lord, hear us. We pray that on this Easter day, God may gift us with a new heart and a new spirit. Lord, hear us. God promises to us throughout sacred scripture that he will make an everlasting covenant with his people. 
May God bring healing and hope to a humanity riven and oppressed by concerns and worries of various kinds. Lord, hear us. We pray this morning that our concerns for the good of our environment may be rooted in and directed by the conviction that God blesses all our efforts to seek what is good. Lord, hear us. And finally, on this Easter day, we pray for the dead. We confidently entrust our deceased loved ones to the death-defeating grace of the Lord Jesus. Lord, hear us. O oh, Father, we thank you this morning for your providence, which has brought us to this Easter day. And we thank you for our Christian faith, which has enabled us to celebrate the resurrection with joy and hope. We make this, and indeed all our prayers, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed, blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread which we now offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By, by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ Jesus, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine which we now offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. O Lord, O oh Lord, wash away all of our iniquities and cleanse us from our sins. Pray, my, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God, the Almighty Father. Exultant with pastoral gladness, O oh Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Now let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, it is our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to love you yet more glorious when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they declare, Holy, 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 O Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, 
Let's see who comes in the name of the Lord. Who's up? In the highest. Today we pray the second Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for all of us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in me. We, we proclaim now the mystery of our Christian faith, as we say. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and we profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ Jesus, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Kevin, our Bishop, and with all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And at this point in our Mass and this Easter morning, we pause to pray for the dead. We remember particularly the deceased of our own parish here in Eva and Highwood. We remember all those who have died from the COVID-19 a virus, many of them alone and without their family to comfort and sustain them as they passed away. We think of the, the many healthcare workers who have given their lives in service of the sick. We think of members of our own family who have passed on, neighbours and good friends. On this day when we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, we pray for them that they one day may share in that resurrection too. Have mercy upon us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of our God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joseph, to whom our church here in Viva is dedicated, St. Bridget, St. Bernadette of Lourdes, St. Benedict, St. Thomas More, St. John Henry Newman, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We pray that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life with them, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and Hallowed 
be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord God, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said unto your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I now give unto you. Look not upon our sins, but rather upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and who reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called unto the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Hallelujah. Therefore, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Hallelujah. O sacrament, most holy, O sacrament, given, all praise and all thanksgiving be ever moved O Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for coming to us on this Easter day in the sacrament 
of your body and your blood. Let it bring to us not condemnation, but rather health of mind and health of body. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks to you be ever. We pray for the dead. Requiem eternam dona eis domine. Et lux perpetua luciat eis. I will conclude our celebration of Mass now in a moment, but just to take this opportunity once again to wish each and every one of you a blessed and joyous Easter. I thank you for joining me. Let us now pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and faith, so that, renewed by the possible mysteries, she may come unto the glory of the resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Mass is ended this morning. Let us now go forth in the peace and in the joy of the risen Christ. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.